How's everybody doing today? All right, guys, I want to uh, talk a little bit about deep water culture and water temperature. This last week, we had some warm temperatures in our, in our greenhouse, and temperatures were reaching right around 90 degrees, and the water temperatures were actually hitting 80 degrees. So that was ideal water temperature for deep water culture is right around 65 degrees, and 80 degrees uh, is no bueno. Basically, to make it short and sweet, the warmer the temperature, the less oxygen the roots get, and the greater chance of bacterial or bacteria growing in, in your reservoir and causing some type of uh, root rot issues. But with that said, this is my fourth year of uh, growing with hydroponics, and um, last year was the first year I've ever actually had to deal with uh, uh, root rot or pythium root. So this year I'm, I'm trying to be a little proactive. Um, I got some panda film wrapped up around the outside of the reservoir and so for the first 10 days I just left the, the black lid um, just like how you're looking at it. Right. And even with this white panda film the um, reservoir temperature still got up to 80 degrees. Well I had some extra material left over from wrapping the reservoir so I went ahead and cut out some pieces and put them right there on top. So. Hopefully this will keep the temperatures cool and this is as far as I'm going to go with uh, trying to keep the temperatures cool. Now like I said earlier I will be monitoring temperatures and like, as you see here I have a little string and this one will just be uh, floating inside the reservoir. So um, in the mornings I'll kind of see what's going on and then afternoon when I get home from work and uh, after the heat of the day we can see how, how warm these temperatures actually rise. But I don't know if you guys can see, and this isn't the greatest picture, but these roots from this warm uh, warm days, warm water temperatures, is actually starting to turn yellow. And I'm just in this one bucket here, so I just kind of want to show, show that to you. So I was pretty amazed on how quick this stuff actually uh, took hold. Now last summer when I was dealing with my root rot issues, I had some viewers talk about uh, enzymes. Now I know absolutely nothing about these enzymes. Um, this is what we had at our local hydroponic store, and uh, the guy t talked really highly of, of this. Basically, he was basically telling me that this stuff's some type of root stimulator. It feeds on like the dead roots or dead uh, dead material that's in your reservoir, and just uh, it seems to be really, really good stuff. I mean, the guy talked really, really highly. So with this first bucket, I'm already starting to uh, deal with root rot, especially after you know the plant only being alive or uh, or been going in a system for about 10 days now. So this will be my first. So I'm not sure how this is going to work, and this is going to be I'm only going to add this stuff to one bucket. And already, uh, one of the drawbacks I see already is uh, this stuff is super pricey. This ball right here is darn near 30 bucks. Um, the guy, I mean, the guy at the, uh, the hydro store, I mean, he talked probably a good 15, 20 minutes on this stuff. But he did say the stuff's pricey and he said it's well worth it. So we shall. Well, unfortunately, this brand is made in Canada, so there's a pretty good chance that this stuff is not going to work and it's probably not going to work at all. I'm kidding, of course. Um, we got a couple, couple guys out there in Canada, really good hydroponics uh, growers, and so I just kind of wanted to flick them a little bit of crap there. I'm sure this stuff's gonna be pretty good, so um, I'm really excited about getting a, getting a chance to use. It. Now the bucket there on top there is the one that we'll be using the enzymes, and I will be adding recommended dosage every week, and just uh, just to see how it does. Well, the other two buckets, I'll, I'll just be doing my normal reservoir uh, maintenance, so, which is weekly water changes. And if for some reason I start spotting some type of a root rot, I'll I'll jump back into my H2O2, which I think I've had it really saved the day for me last year. So until the uh, till summer hits, I'll probably be hitting H2O2 for, with these two buckets, probably at least once a month, and then once the um, summer kicks in we start getting some warmer weather then um, 
I kind of have to decide um, what to do when we get to that point. Well, I almost forgot what the hell I was going to say there. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to do a quick little announcement. This is my 100th video. My fourth year, and I can't believe I've made, made 100 videos. <laughs> All right, so with this being my 100th video, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and ramble on. So, well, this this week, a few days ago, anyways, I was at our um, I was working right by our local farmers market, and I swung in there real quick. And there's a lady in there selling tomato tomato plants, so I just kind of shooting the breeze with her, and I was like, you know what, you know, you know, she had a whole bunch of different varieties, and I had no intentions of buying any. And uh, I I asked her, I said, so what's your favorite tomato here? And she said, uh Cherokee purple uh, and I like hmm and she goes I got some right here and she goes uh she went on and on on the taste and all that kind of stuff and, and it's a tomato that I've, I've always wanted to grow so I said you know what I can probably squeeze in one more tomato into my uh my little greenhouse well I debated on how to grow this thing um I had an extra DWC bucket and I really didn't want to do a fourth one because I just made a video saying I was going to stick to three <laughs> and I did end up having some extra cocoa core so I went ahead and uh, put this bad boy in, into uh, the cocoa and of course I ran out so the top three inches is nothing but perlite <laughs> but take a look at this plant it's just a uh, it's a beautiful plant so I'm hoping to uh, hoping she was so here's the brandy wine. This I, I actually overwintered this bad boy, so we'll see how she does. And then just a quick view of my peppers. A little jalapeno. And of course my brain is blank right now. So here's the poblano from last year. I already got some few peppers, so I'm not sure if this uh it will hold on to them and then another California wonder alright guys I'm gonna take you all over the place so just showing you the roots this is only 10 days of root growth here so these babies these babies in deep water culture are really taking off so here's the a San Marzano and this is the one I was telling you about with the already starting to get a little bit of root rot see that yellowing that's no bueno that is not what you want to see in your reservoir Alright guys, um, I can't believe I've been doing this for four years and we did 100 videos. So um, I just want to tell you guys thanks. You guys have all been awesome. I've had a really good time and I'm really looking forward to the next four years. So, Alright guys, thanks for, as always, thanks for taking the time to, to watch and comment and uh, have an awesome spring.